All right, guys, so this is what we've all been waiting for for about the last year. This is the Avia. Now, this is the full production model. This is number one, very first one to come off the assembly line, which we will have at Haydesi in the matter of the next couple weeks. A couple little small tweaks they got to do to it, but they wanted to get it out here and at least let people see it here at U Camp this year. So let's start in the front on this awesome trailer. So right off the bat, there's a lot of stuff to talk about on the front of this trailer. You've got LED lights pointing towards the hitch to make hooking up at night really easy. The inside of the jack here flips open. So you've got a few things going on. You can extend and retract the jack. You've got the tongue jack button. You've got the front jacks and the rear jacks, left front, right rear. So all the stabilization jacks are now powered. They're not power leveling jacks. They are stabilization jacks. So inside of the front tub on this unit, you lift this up, it's got a hydraulic strut on it, two 30 pound propane tanks, spare tire with the exact same wheel, and your battery disconnect is right here. Makes everything nice and easy to get to. On the back side of the trailer, you'll notice it's very clean, not a whole lot of holes in the wall here. Your windows are gonna be the typical windows that you see from New Camp. Cannot hurt these things. On the back side here, you've got a light right over top of where your water hookup is gonna be. Aldi system on the bottom. You do have cable TV hookup out here, power systems, refrigerator vents. This is gonna be your water fill. Also, every unit is equipped with an outside shower. Sewer dumps are down here on the bottom right behind the axle. I was talking to the owner of the company yesterday and he said they've intentionally tried to drag those off and they cannot do it. They've not, been, not even been able to drag the bottom of the back of the trailer yet. You have pass-through storage all the way across the back underneath of the bed. Magnets that hold the doors up and then slam latches to shut them. You have an integrated backup camera on the very back of the coach here as well. On the front side, you also have another baggage compartment that allows you to get into the lighted and, by the way, heated pass-through storage. Outside speakers, right by the awning there. You also have a strip in the awning here as well for LED lights. 110 power by the door. You have LED lights under the back side of the coach and under the front side of the coach right here. These are activated with the step. You have LED lights back behind the, the extended grab handle. And then the door is gonna be the 400 door that you've seen before with the trash can, the pull-up blind, and the cubbies. On the very front of the coach, you also have another compartment here for some added storage. A couple things to note on the awning. You have an LED light strip that will shine straight down and illuminate the ground so it's not coming at you from a different angle, it's coming straight down on you. One of the most important things about this awning is this is a third arm awning. So instead of just having two arms, it has three arms. Allows it to be a little more structurally rigid and sound whenever you're dealing with high wind situations and, uh, and drizzles and rains as well. Now that we're on the inside of the Avia, the first thing that catches your eye is actually the high gloss cabinetry. All of the cabinetry faces are extremely high gloss reflects a lot of light, makes it actually feel much brighter in here on a rainy day like today than it actually is. The dinette up front, just a little smaller than a queen size bed. Table will turn to allow you to accommodate to be able to press this down into a table, but it's also fat guy approved. Inside the Avia, you're gonna have two different televisions. The front one here is a 24 inch TV. The one in the rear for the bedroom is a 28 inch TV. You also have the fusion system down here. This is going to be your radio, which is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capable. One of the most impressive things about this entire unit is the amount of storage you have. All of the shelving inside of here is adjustable, so if you have bigger cans of food or smaller cans, you can raise that shelf up and down. All of these have double closure latches to them, and again, look at that shine. Down below, you have a three burner cooktop that again, you can clean right in to the sink. You have a small drawer here that will pull out. Down below, you have a larger drawer that will pull out. This drawer here is full of mechanical stuff at the moment. And then this drawer here pulls out as well. 
Again, with New Camp, they love to give you all of the ability to diagnose and work on your trailer. If you pull this drawer down here, you can now get into just about every feature with the Aldi system. You've got drains, the pumps, all that stuff you can access right down here. On the other side, you've got another cabinet locker here. And then down below, you have the pull-out microwave. Now this is not just a microwave, it's a microwave. It's a convection oven and it's an air fryer all in one. You can actually pull this out if you need to get a little closer to you or you can leave it recessed all the way back in either way. So on this side here, you also have a spice rack that pulls out. Now your fridge is the next thing you see in the kitchen. So you've got a fridge area here with a freezer on top and then also a fridge pull out on the bottom. Great place to throw milk and that type of things. And beside the fridge, you also have a very large pull out pantry. So as we move back into the coach, you're going to be able to open up your big closet. So as you've seen in the Tab 400s before, you are still going to have a heated pan in here as well as an Aldi heater on the side of the unit itself. You have these nice little shelves built in so you can hold your shampoo and all that type of stuff. It will hold a full size bottle by the way. Really nice new high pressure shower head. Uh, you have a light built in here. You have a skylight. Now that's where you tall guys will probably have to stick your head. And then you also have the fan with the push up vent. So I'm inside the shower now. I'm 5'10 and about 300 pounds. Plenty of room for me to be able to get in here and turn around and actually use the shower. Um, I'm not overly tall, so I don't need the skylight, but if you're 6'4", you'll be able to get in here and stick your head in the skylight and still be able to take a shower. On the bottom here, you have a foot flush toilet. The sink will pull down here as well as the faucet. On one side, you've got a soap dispenser and a towel rack, and then you also have these nice little cups that fit down in here for your toothbrushes and whatnot. The lockers here for the medicine cabinet both have locking handles on them. You also have another skylight in here just for extra light, and then you also have another fan. So inside the bedroom, you've got a queen size bed here that is actually liftable. It's powered lift, allows you to sit up in bed and read. So inside the bedroom, you have shelves on both sides of the bed. You've got nooks coved out on both sides of the bed as well. Two lockers overhead, individual lights, speakers back here, a remote controlled fan, LED ambiance lights, and a shirt closet right here. So a lot of people will look at this mattress and think, wow, that's not much of a mattress. But what they're utilizing is the European system here. So you use a mattress and then you use a bowed board underneath that is going to be your slat system. This board will have enough give to it to isolate your body. So it actually makes a four inch mattress feel like an eight inch mattress. You can also pick this up and you have a ton of storage in the bed. The Avia is employing a multiplex system here. So it allows you to turn certain features on from the front and back. Uh, allow you can turn your awning lights off, your under cabinet lights, your 12 volt fridge, you can turn it off and on. Water pump, dinette ceilings, dinette accent lights, backlighting for the actual screen itself. And then you can turn all your lights off that way as well. Press the New Camp logo and it's a powered screen that's going to show you your fresh black and gray water levels. And then also the Aldi system is located right here as well. Now if you're familiar with the New Camp's products, the Aldi system should be fairly familiar to you. Now this is the 3020, which is the new system they've been using for the last six months or so. And the only real difference here from a, from a customer's point of view is, is the propane button, instead of having on and off for propane, you actually just press the button for the propane. Electric, you'll move to two if you want to use electric. This is going to be the booster for your water and then just set your inside temperature. Guys, you'll be able to see the Avia for yourself into June, 1st of July at the dealership at Hay to See Airstream and RV here in Columbus, Ohio. Well, that's all for today. I'm gonna to get back to hanging out with the guys at UCamp.